Good morning Audio Boo and good morning YouTube. Doing a dual recording with the GoPro Hero 3 Silver Edition and also my Zoom H1. And we're in Lathkildale. We're in Lathkildale down at the Weirs and it's quite a nice day today actually. A little bit cloudy. It's been raining all this morning, but myself, Ray and I, or my friend Ray and I, Ray's just over there. He's waving to those on camera. But we thought we'd come a nice, gentle wander up Lathkildale today, uh, record some audio, and make a quick video. So what I'm gonna do is, if you're listening on audio, check out the video on YouTube, because I'm gonna just show you how clear the water is here. I've got the uh, waterproof cover on the back of the GoPro and I'm about to throw it in the water now. Not literally throw it, but you know what I mean, don't you? It's quite deep here at the minute. I'm standing out on the, um, on the top of one of the weirs um, and in the water the camera goes. Absolutely crystal clear the water is. It's, um, it's known for its uh, visual clarity. So I'm going to take you off the weir now and we're going to go towards one of the bigger weirs. I'm going to be using the audio from Zoom H1 on the GoPro. I'm going to jump over this section now. If I drop the GoPro I will cry, I honestly will cry, so I need to be careful. The water underneath there. Absolutely crystal clear. How much do you think I'd cry if I lost the uh, <laughs> GoPro? <laughs> but I would dive in after it. Obviously I'd take my phone out of my pocket first. But I would definitely dive in after it. Stunning place, Lathkildale. And... We're going to walk further up now to the very top of the dale. We're going to come back across. Let's clean the GoPro there. Um, we're going to come across the top of from Lathkill there. We're going to climb along the limestone way and then down into Radford Dale as the car is parked down at uh, Oldport. So right, join us in a short while and we'll see you soon. Welcome back once again. We're just at the waterfalls now, which are further up the dale, as you can imagine. For those on video, there's Ray taking a photo. Hello there. I've just taken some uh, photos with a slow shutter speed with my DSLR. I'll quickly flash one up for those watching on video, and I'll probably include it as the... Uh, the video for this audio boo. I'm just trying to see how far I can get without getting my feet totally wet. Just going to stick the camera once again in the water. <laughs> Oops, we're, we're ankle deep there in the water. But it really is stunning. The GoPro is at the bottom of the river now. And I can safely say that today the water is absolutely freezing. And my hand's blue as it comes out. Hopefully the stereo sound is uh, good today. small section here where I could quite happily, this is like seven foot uh, waterfall, I could quite happily stand underneath there and have a shower. Not today though, because once again it is absolutely freezing. <laughs> so we've just walked up a section of the dale, I'll just wipe the GoPro lens, we just walked up a section of the dale that looks to have been logged now we're not sure 
I mean, someone can probably correct me on this one, but we're not sure whether they've driven a logging road up to get some of the pine trees out because some of the logs that, that were at the side of the path or new road were actually pine. But there was a sign further down the dale about ash dieback. So one minute I'm complaining about the fact that they've driven a, uh, a road up this beautiful dale. Whereas last time I was in this section of the dale, uh, I mean further down now I'll turn round. Last time I was in this section of the dale, um, it was all like this, just a small path. But around about um, a kilometre back down that way is where the road begins or ends and it really has disrupted the tranquility for me the whole idea today was to come out have a nice gentle walk by the river and we bought coffee and we're going to sit further up and just chill out and then we're going to walk back over the top along the limestone way okay so now i've messed about for a while ray's left me i don't blame him <laughs> back over this way right so I'm going to keep going now I need to keep remembering to take photos as well the sun's come out quite nicely and I'll just get around this corner now for those watching on video absolutely beautiful some limestone cliffs up there it's quite nice today Ray yes yeah. That's what it's all about. It's a great looking part of the dale, this is. We're just admiring the uh, rock formations at the top of the hill there. I thought while I was here, I would just say a quick thank you to everyone that has subscribed to me on YouTube. Just had a message a while back from someone congratulating me, sorry, congratulating me on reaching the magic, well, 700. Um, I hadn't noticed it was, it was getting that close to the landmark, to be honest. And I'm just really grateful that 700 people have chosen to uh, subscribe to see more of my mindless ramblings and ramblings. <clears throat> right, so let's head through. Thanks for that, Ray. I've not got any hands free here at the minute. But uh, Ray, me and Ray were discussing a while back that um, the whole videoing thing you, if, you, if you are subscribed to me on YouTube, the video before this was a video of myself and my friend Howie from back in 2006. And we went to Scotland on a bit of a, a random mission to find some of the Monty Python Holy Grail filming locations. And we basically set off at... <laughs> I'd slept in the day and I picked... How we up from home at 10 o'clock at night and we drove through the night to Scotland and videoed everything along the way and as you can imagine 2006 and the fact that I'm a pauper the video isn't in HD but uh, I mean the whole reason we recorded that was just for memories and you may have noticed that I've put up numerous videos over the years. Um, over this last year, I guess actually, I've been putting up various videos from the archive. So, we've been doing this whole speaking to camera thing for a long while, but it was never intended for anyone else's eyes really, or ears. Um, it was always about just recording the memories and maybe, I'd got, <laughs> I'd got uh, like maybe, we did it with view to maybe uh, burn it to a DVD or something like that. But then YouTube arrived. We found out about YouTube in like 2006 before the, the mighty Google took it over. 
and I've slowly been posting little things to it. But like I say, it's all for memories really. And I just really appreciate the fact that people watch, like, share and interact. Because, I mean, it's not about the subscriber numbers for me really. I was discussing this with another YouTuber the other day. I would much rather have a hundred uh, subscribers that interact, watch, and I can talk to than a hundred thousand that don't say a word. So it's all about meeting new people, interacting, and just enjoying documenting my uh, adventures. And it doesn't have to be a massive 25 mile day. It doesn't have to be thousands of meters of ascent. It's just about being out in the countryside and enjoying places like this. This is a nice gentle walk. I'm gonna say gentle walk, but we're about to walk out of the dale now. Um, in probably the steepest bit of the day. So I'll, I will finish talking to you before then because you'll be able to laugh at how out of breath I'll probably get up this little bit here if I don't stop. <clears throat> so yeah, to quickly recap, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that's hit that subscribe button and thank you for interacting, thank you for sharing and just thank you for watching. At least I know someone's there. <laughs> right, I'll speak to you all again soon. It's bye from me. Bye from me. Bye from Ray. certainly easier coming down. <laughs> really Non-stop to the top. Yep. That's the way it's always got to be, mate. <laughs> Welcome back. So we've just come across the uh, top of the hill now through low wood and then we're descending into Bradford Dale. But I just thought I would kick up the video once again and show you quite stunning white peak scenery. Over that sort of direction you've got Beely Moor and also Chatsworth. But like I say we're heading down now in towards Bradford Dale. Another very picturesque uh, dale with a nice gentle river running through the, vo the bottom. Very much like um, Lathkill Dale. But there's a spot further down where you can do some wild swimming if you wish. I think it's too cold for some wild swimming today, Ray. What do you think? Definitely, Definitely too cold today. Right, let's keep moving. Bradford Dale and the Bradford Dale Dams. It's turning into a stunning day today. Welcome back. We're down in Bradford Dale now. The people watching on video will have just seen well, just see me throw the uh, GoPro underwater 
for a moment or two there. I've got the uh, waterproof back on the GoPro, so there is no danger of it getting wet. But obviously the sound recording ability of the GoPro is vastly um, impaired by the case on the back there. Although I've managed to find, well I found out that using iMovie or Final Cut Pro on the Mac you can enhance the sound so you can just about hear what's being said quite clearly actually. Just about hear quite clearly. Is that not a contradiction? Either way. So it's turning out to be a really beautiful day today actually. The cloud is dispersing quite nicely and we've got some beautiful blue sky. So just further down here is the uh, place where you can go wild swimming. I know especially in Lathkildale there are signs saying that you're not to go in the river simply because they want to try and uh, well, to safeguard the water bird population. But this section here is a designated wild swimming spot. But I think I mentioned earlier on that today isn't the day for wild swimming. <laughs> I think I would have internal organ failure if I jumped in, the, jumped in the river at this point today because it's really cold. So it says swimming area to be used entirely at your own risk. Haddon Estate cannot accept any responsibility for any accident as a result of entering the river. Children may only use the swimming area if supervised by an adult. And then no diving or jumping. How deep do we reckon that is? And let's not test it by throwing me in, Ray. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say at this point it's waist deep, isn't it? And then, yeah, should we get it? We've got some shorts of you. Right, I think it's coffee time. Yeah. Definitely coffee time. But people listening on Audioboo, I'll give you a link in the description to this video and you'll be able to see the stunning day that it really has turned into. <laughs> That's probably better for the people viewing on video now where you can actually see what I'm doing rather than just be blinded by the sun. But it's beautiful. I know that if we'd have lived within close vicinity of this when we were younger, we'd have probably been down every day in summer. We used to be jumping in the River Amber or getting on the bikes and heading over to Chatsworth and jumping out of the trees all day. Ah, the memories. What a day. Coffee time. Right, so we're back in Allport now, which is where the car's parked. The car is just over that sort of direction. Or should I say that sort of direction? I was pointing with the microphone, so you probably wouldn't have heard what I was saying there. It's been a nice walk, nice gentle walk. And by the way, if that's where you park over there, the walk starts just directly across the road there. It's quite a nice loop walk, to be honest. I can smell paint. <laughs> Probably the uh, the phone box here, or the box. Anyway, there's no uh, no phone in that anymore, but it does smell like fresh paint. Right, so we're going to head somewhere and find either coffee or beer. Let's do it. <laughs> 